Okay, page 511, section 8.1. Number 12, here we have x squared is equal to 2, 2, 5. Now let me write, rewrite this. x squared is equal to 2, 2, 5. Here we have equal sign in the equation. So for this, we need to solve plus x. So for this, you're going to take square root on both sides of the equation. On the number side, you're going to put down plus minus. So here on the left hand side, square and the square root that cancels out is right down plus x equal to keep your plus minus square root of 225. If you use your calculator, that will give you a 15. So your answer will be plus minus 15. Now let's look at number 16. Number 16, we have x square is equal to 54. Same thing, step one, you're going to take the square roots, okay, square root on both sides of the equation. On the number side, you're going to put down plus minus. So square and square root that cancels out, okay, this part right here, this part square and square root cancels out. So you only put down plus x, write down the x. Keep the equal sign, keep the plus minus. If you use your calculator to take square root of 54, it gives you a decimal. We don't want decimal. We want just one integer, whole number. Okay, so let's break down. So it'll be 2, 27, 3, 9, 3, and 3. For square roots, we are looking for pair. So here, we're going to find pair of 3. So it doesn't matter which 2, okay? Just find pair of 3. So this pair of 3, so they become 1. They go out. Then inside, we have what, two and three by itself, two and three left over, so they stay inside. But make sure you multiply all the inside number together, so that gives you six inside. Now let's look at number 20. Number 20, we have five z squared minus 200 is equal to zero. So here, we only want z on the left-hand side, so let's get rid of the 200. So plus 200, plus 200. So we have 5z squared is equal to 200. After that, we're going to divide everything by 5 because we will just want the z squared by itself. So here you have z squared is equal to 40. And after that, we just want z, so take the square root on both sides of the equation. The number side, again, must put down plus minus. So the z square and the square root that cancels out, you just write down z is equal to, keep the plus minus. 40, let's break down to see what can we take out. It will be 2, 20, 2, 10, 2, and 5. Square root, again, we're looking for pair. So it doesn't matter which two, okay, two numbers, they are the same. They become one, so they go out. Then we have two and five left over. So you go multiply the two numbers over, multiply two numbers together. So you got 10 inside. Now, let's look at number 28. Number 28, we have parentheses of x minus 4 square is equal to 64. So here, do the same thing. Take the square roots on both sides. Square root on both sides. On the number side, go put down plus minus. This part right here, on the left-hand side, the square and the square root cancels out. Okay, it's right down whatever's the inside. So we have x minus 4. Keep the equal sign. Keep the plus minus. Square root of 64 give you an 8. Okay, for this, it's a little bit different. For this, we're going to change to two different equations because the first equation will be x minus 4 is equal to negative 8. The second equation will be x minus 4 equal to a positive 8. So here, we're going to solve for two different equations. So let's do the one on the left. Let's get rid of the negative 4. So plus 4, plus 4. So my x is equal to negative 4. The right hand side, we're going to plus 4, plus 4. So 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. Next, let's look at number 30. 
Number 30 here, we have parenthesis of x plus 3 squared is equal to 11. So step one, take the square on both sides of the equation, and the numbers are going to put down plus minus. So the square roots and the square that cancels out is right on whatever is inside the parenthesis. So we have x plus 3 equal to, we cannot take out the square root of 11, so keep the square root of 11. After that, since here the 3 and the square root of the 11, we cannot combine, okay? You cannot add. One's inside the house, one's outside. So all you need to do is just move the 3 to the front of the plus minus. So here my x is equal to negative 3 plus minus square root of 11. Then that's our answer. Let's look at one more. Let's look at number 32. Okay, number 32. Here we have t plus 8 square is equal to 27. Okay, let's move my 27 a little bit to the side. Give me a little bit of space. 27. So step one again, take the square root on both sides of the equation. And the number side must put down plus minus. So here again, square root and the square that cancels out is right down whatever is inside the parenthesis. So it'll be t plus a, keep the equal sign, keep the plus minus. 27 is break down, so it'll be 3, 9, 3, 3. Square roots, we are looking for a pair. Two numbers, they are the same. One goes out, so 1, 3 goes out. 1, 3 left, so that one stay inside the square roots. Then after that, Again, you have a, then you have square root. So those two numbers, you still cannot combine, okay? So all you need to do, just move the a to the front of the plus minus. So the answer is equal to t is equal to negative a plus minus 3 square root of 3. Then that's the answer.